Our big story tonight, and it's incredible, our part of Ohio seemingly the center of violent political plots. Yesterday, it was the assassination of threat against John Boehner. And now the FBI takes down a Cincinnati man accused of planning an attack on the U.S. Capitol. This is a picture of Christopher Cornell's arrest outside a gun store in Corrine Township. Federal investigators say he bought assault rifles and ammo right before federal agents moved in. Federal prosecutors say this man, 20-year-old Christopher Lee Cornell of Green Township, is a homegrown terrorist who is hatching a plot to kill officers and employees of the United States. Cornell, also known as Rahil Mayras Ubeda, was arrested tonight after buying two guns at a Cincinnati gun store during an undercover FBI operation. The suspect's dad says he was totally in the dark. The FBI would not give us any information. They said they had no idea why he was being held, what if he was even charged or what he was being charged with. But what we're learning tonight, Cornell hit the FBI radar last year. He has apparently converted to Islam and has professed his allegiance to ISIS and talked about plans on Twitter to commit acts of jihad. Yeah, when he came out the door, he would have come out here. He's about um, halfway across here to the where the cars are parked. By that time, the agents had come across the parking lot, and uh, two agents were on top of him, two or three. John Dean is the store manager of the gun store where the arrest was made. He watched from inside the Point Blank gun store as Cornell was taken into custody. He told a reporter at our sister station in Cincinnati, Cornell did not seem like the type. Maybe a little shy, a little bashful, but, but talkative. And uh, no, no, if I hadn't been warned ahead of time, um, there wasn't really anything about him that would have suggested he was involved in something like this. Dean says it's hard to believe a plot like this was being drawn up in our backyard by a man who seemed more like a kid. But the fact that it was something of uh, uh, this enormous scale, we had no idea of, even after it was all over. It wasn't until uh, later in the day as the news began to break that we understood uh, that we had this small part uh, in what the FBI was doing. Now, the FBI says the public was never in any danger. He never made it to Washington. They say their investigation is continuing. They're checking out several items taken from his home at the time of his arrest.